This is Koshan. It's in the business district of New Orleans. It's one of my favorite restaurants owned by Donald Blink, the same owner as Love the Gold as the, the restaurant we went to this morning. What's that? Bacon and pork pie, fried alligator. What do you say? Fried no, hunkadaya. Okay, guys, we're here at Koshan. This is uh, owned by <laughs> by Link, and it's and it's and this is one of the best restaurants in New Orleans. It's known for its meat. He opened. Uh, he owns La Boulangerie. He owns. This is. Uh, they have great bourbon here. They have Sugarfield. They have some Pappy Vans in the. It's really. This is the spot. Guys, go subscribe to uh, Lily's Expat Life. It's it's blowing up. It's huge, and uh, and go follow uh, the Mick Robinson on Twitter, Instagram. That's T H E M C R O B I N S O N. Again, that's T H E M C R O B I N S O N. I have twelve thousand followers and growing. It's get on the train now because it's going places. So trains go places, and my place is huge. And what else did you recommend? And we have the fried alligator with a chili garlic aioli. I made it myself. Did I do good? But good. It is a little bit tough. Just like our family, a little tough but good. <laughs> Give you away. Ooh. Um, Definitely. Ooh la 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 la. Yeah, baby. Can we get you one of those? Yeah, yeah. thank you. We're gonna try these homemade dinner rolls. Yes, homemade biscuits. They're so luscious and buttery. Like they've been coated extra with butter, and they're soft. And we should. Here we go. You put extra butter on yours. Mm. You can sleep that much. It's light. It's fluffy. Oh, but yeah, it's still, you can tell that's not margarine. It's <laughs> definitely butter. I, I can't like, believe it's not. But. It's better salted than, should I say it? Emeralds. Emeralds needed to add more salt. Sorry, Emeralds. You heard it here first. Mm. It's delicious. Food and balls. Yeah, I'm like super I don't know. Look at this. Oh, this is what he that? said to dip the, the bread in. Oysters. Wood fired oysters. I'm gonna dip this bread right in here. We got a little bread bath right here. What? You wanna try that? Yeah. I think this is. It is. Look at this. No, I didn't. Okay, you went back for it. How is it? No, don't take it out. Just eat it. Eat it. Susie, will you taste a little bit of that lemon on there for me? Mm -hmm. It's also so lemony yeah, and light and seafood flavor. Can't wait to try this oyster. Same one for George. Wow. You can't have any can until There's you eat your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, you are so right about saving that bread. That was so good. That was like, uh, perfect. It perfectly brings out the oyster. You have a little bit of chili oil, the, the vinaigrette of the lemon. Shaved the window. Maybe crystal hot sauce. That's it. Look, you got fish. That's right. We're so happy, right? How's that rice? They made it special for you. They know you like rice. And I'm going to steal this pickle. I think we should have an oyster eating time. Just a quick interruption, you guys. A word from our sponsor, Surfshark. Thank you so much, Surfshark, for continuing to sponsor this channel. Surfshark is a VPN that keeps all of your very important information safe. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it works by encrypting all of the information sent between your computer and the internet so no one can steal your personal data. So if you're accessing the internet via public Wi-Fi network, like a airport or a restaurant or cafe, by using Surfshark, you are protected from anyone who has also logged into that network in order to steal your personal information. For years, I wanted to invest in a VPN, but I was so hesitant to get one because I was intimidated by learning a new technology, which is one of the reasons why I still use iMovie to edit my videos, even though I know I need to switch over to Adobe Premiere Pro. But when I got Surfshark, I was like shocked by how easy it is. Even a five-year-old could use it. Luke uses it when he uses my iPhone. So I wish I had gone Surfshark a long time ago because not only does it protect your personal information and identity, but it also allows you to change your virtual location. So when I'm in Thailand, I always change my virtual location to the US because when I log into Netflix, I gain access to over 800 more films and TV shows to watch. And now that we're in the United States, I log into Netflix from Thailand so Luke can watch his favorite TV shows in Thai and he doesn't forget his native tongue, right? Say, Swadikap. Super cat. <laughs> I think you're forgetting a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Surfshark is the best VPN on the market because it is one of the only ones that allows you to use unlimited devices for one account. So do yourself, your children, your family a favor and sign up for Surfshark today. You can use my code expatlife and get 83% off. Plus this month they are offering you four months for free. It's such a good deal. And they do offer a 30 day free trial so there is no risk in trying it out. Just click my link in the description box back to the program. <laughs> We got this Rudan sausage, it's a Cajun sausage, pork, slow braised pork rolled with rice and Cajun spices. Cheers. Mm, did you? Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mm. Really good. You can tell about that big one. Slow. It's so really it's pork pig. porky. Mm. And then the rice makes it soft. It's like a meatball. A pork Cajun meatball that's crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Mmm. Right. Luke yes, loves sir. fried crackers. Wood fired shrimp. Oh, oh yes, sir. Um, there's uh, right there. blue cheese. Does mom need any help? Is she taking Luke? Yeah. 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 This, this is shrimp on shrimp. On shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> it's dehydrated shrimp, yeah, chili, bacon. Thank you. There's no bacon. No bacon. But it looks good. I had so much lemon on it. I love that. Yes. So, so much shrimp flavor. I'm on the dry shrimp. Look pie here in New Orleans. You ready? Yeah. It is deep fried. Deep fried. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's bacon and pork pie. That looks so good. I know, I, get I know. He's getting I get options, man. Now for the pork pie. Pork and bacon pie. You gotta, you gotta try this pork and bacon pie. It is killer. Mm. It is killer. That is some good smoked bacon in there. That's what you taste. The smokiness from the bacon. The crust on the outside. Then you have the creamy buttermilk sour cream sauce. I'm gonna have to taste gumbo. Yeah, gumbo. Now see that room? That's a nice dark, nice dark rib. Taste this gumbo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is good enough to make, as my mama would say, your tongue slap your brains out. That is good. <laughs> what do you think, Byron? That's really good. The roux is good. That dark roux. Yeah, the roux. And uh, it's a little bit thicker than the one for breakfast. Yeah. I kind of like that a little better. That's a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> we are eating at Koshan, an old favorite that we've eaten at many times before. The best things on the menu tonight with the broiled charred oysters with a lemon spicy um, uh, crystal hot sauce for Blanc and the gumbo was divine. Louisiana redfish, baby. When did that become the style? Oh, man. Is it good? Oh. Luke, you know you know what? This is not spicy. Redfish is light and fluffy and flaky. It's a nice white fish. I love it. It's one of my favorite fish. Coming up. Okay. Look at that. That's, That's for you. Do you guys make that bread thing? You want some oysters? Look at those Ju juicy oysters, perfectly Thick shredded. Thick cut bacon, pork and in the bread. Pork is baked oh, in really? the bread. Oh really? No way. Get out of here. Eric. Nobody's gonna. I'm eating this whole thing. <laughs> you need the fish. Is that fish on your plate? I'm waiting for you. Look at the shredded lettuce. It's perfectly dressed in the mayonnaise. You have the bacon, crispy oysters. Drop it on the bacon's head. Like donuts. Apple cider donuts. German. And then pineapple upside down. Ooh. I've never made pineapple upside down before. It's not hard. It's easy to so make. Our executive so pastry easy. chef, uh, who does all of us things like that, also runs uh, La Bangerie. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we went there this, this morning. morning. So, so, <laughs> so it's we know it's good. <laughs> this looks like almost like pecan pie. No way. No way. How is it? No. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at y'all. We're like vultures. We gotta say something for Byron. Say some for Byron. Here, I'm gonna. I know the routine. This is the apple. What is this? Apple cider vinegar cake. Donut. Donut. Vinegar. You said. I asked if we're good, and you said yes. How is it, Rob? The comedian. The thing about that cake is. An upside down cake like that can only be made in Australia because it's where it's upside down. They flew that in. <laughs> Very good. How do you come up with these things? Just well, George came up with his rooster. That's funny. You know what? I actually, that's what was funny. Maybe uh, I want to taste some of that German cake too. That's good. I just good. want to have one bite of each one. Let me take the first and let me taste it. Mmm. Make sure you save some for barbecue. I know. This is my wine list by the bottle. The small menu's in front of your room. We top it with an ahi dolce vinaigrette. Compare it with the sweet potato. Tonight we are eating at Hush Restaurant in the Business District. It has won a James Beard Award for Best New Restaurant in America. And it's consistently voted in the top 10 restaurants by New Orleans Magazine. Roasted cabbage and fried peanuts. A seafood salad with poached shrimp and tuna. Some more smoked chicken in it. And our cocktail sauce for an onion you know, or just be willing to bring it out with you. No, that's okay. Puff oysters, shrimp, peanut dip, I don't know what that is. Ceviche, right? Ceviche with avocado. Uh, and tuna dip. Smoked tuna dip. Smoked tuna dip. Sauce, I think this starts with an M. A mignette. Mignette. And cocktail Ketchup. sauce. Lemon. Down the hatch, kids. <laughs> best oysters in the world are right here in New Orleans. Oyster with cocktail sauce. Oysters with cocktail sauce on a saltine cracker. This is how I do it. That's good. That's what's up. I'm taking this big boy right here. The oysters are chilled. Cool. You got that crunchy cracker. You got the horseradish and the tangy cocktail sauce. Mm. Look at that. That's my boy right there. They're known for their smoked tuna dip. Mm. I love smoked food. America does really good smoked food. It's not something that's really big in Thailand. Mm. Well, this shrimp, the ceviche. Mm. It's minty, it's a parsley, so fresh. That I've never been in here. These are giant golf shrimp. What do you want to dip? Do you want cocktail sauce? Do you want this? And they give you little towels to wash your hands with a side of lemon. You get a video. Say hey, hi. Hey. Hi, we're having fun. Oh boy, oh boy. Baby. But you betcha. Out on a date with my baby. <laughs> this is Dustin. Hi, everybody. Go to the bar, Pesh, and he will treat you right. <laughs> I said you'll have some Hold chili on. shakedowns, okay? It's the best one on the menu. Okay. <laughs> Next gin with fresh cucumber juice, fresh lemon, and fresh juice. Ginger. Oh, he's giving this syrup. to the drinkers. Thank you so much, Justin. Yeah, Thank man. You. Here you got TV. So you went to Thailand? You saw yeah, I went, I, went, I, went, I went to see her in Thailand. I went to see her in Ireland. <laughs> Traveling around the world to see the two Hubbard best, sisters. Two best you can go. Right? Both, both were beautiful. Dustin's one of the only people from New Orleans who came and ate at my restaurant in Thailand. She talks about you all the time. She watches. She's, yeah, you have 17 million views and she's 16,699,000 of them are from her. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to Lily's Expat Life. Lily's Expat Life. Here's to Mom. And all your homies. Chloe and I running Grace and Joy. Yes. Good. Steak tartare toast. That looks so beautiful. A crispy fried okra. Hush puppies. Oh man, thank you so much. Fish sticks. 
loop like this. What is that? Fried oyster or who's that? Fried bread. Fried bread. We have okra in Thailand. Oh, hot. It is. It's hot. Come on. Well, we had to not have success with that okra. I'm going to try a fish stick. Oh, no way of I think this is catfish. Mm. With a ranch dressing, which it tastes like. It's tangy, it's creamy. Look at this steak tartare. This steak tartare looks luscious on bread. So good. The smaller pieces are a little more tender. Yeah. I love okra. Mm, mm, mm. It is really good. Salty, crispy, <laughs> and it's got that slimy middle that okra is famous for. Delicious. Hush puppies. They're kind of like a Southern American fried cornmeal dough. Falafel. <laughs> Hush puppies, baby. Cornmeal, deep fried balls of cornmeal. <laughs> Mm. Lots of herbs in these. Lots of onion. Cajun seasoning. The bread balls. Fried bread balls with sea salt. And a mova. <laughs> Don't cut it. Just open it with your hands. Or with your mouth. <laughs> Let's show the inside. Mm. It's light. It's fluffy on the inside. It's crunchy on the outside. It's a classic New Orleans dish you can't find anywhere else. No, like savory donuts. They're really light. I had the great idea of dipping this in this smoked tuna dip. Now you try and tell me. <laughs> How is it? That's really good. Winning combo. Seafood gumbo. That looks so beautiful. Fried oysters. Sorry, spicy brown shrimp and noodles. Spicy brown shrimp and noodles. Mom on potatoes. Put those right over by mom. No, I so cool. You know, I tried to make fondant potatoes and it wasn't working. You know, they're potatoes like sweet potato risotto. And a gift from the chef, crispy fried broccoli. Wait till my head is filled. No, no, you have Crispy fried oysters over greens. Mm. This is shrimp. This is not bolognese. I'm interested in trying this. It looks like bolognese with fettuccine, but it's shrimp. That's my actual one. Tangy. It's shrimpy. Lots of herbs. Byron got the seared tuna. Seared tuna. With the butternut squash. Butternut squash puree, and I think. I don't know. But hold on, Chloe's gonna try it. Yeah. It smells like curry. Yeah. It smells like Indian curry. Yeah, that's the baby's diaper. The crispy fried broccoli, a gift from the chef. Thank you, Chef. Ryan, congratulations on your James Beard. Hold up. Reminds me of Indian papadam. Indian, what is the fried Indian fritter? Pakora. Like a broccoli Cajun pakora. So good. Look how beautiful this is. Great to this. This is like seven layers. This is so American. This is a layer of buttercream cake. And look, look what you got. Homemade birthday cake ice cream. Wow, it's like butterscotch, buttercream, salted caramel. 
It's extremely moist and light chiffon cake. What a great evening. That was delicious food. The next time you're in New Orleans, make sure you go and eat at Pesh Restaurant in the Business District. You will not regret it. You're not cold? It's nice out, right? A little bit cold? I told you to put it on your sweater. We are going to one of my favorite New Orleans spots for lunch, Casamento's. They are known for their oysters. They've been open since 1919. Hello. Hello. Hey. 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 This is Casamento's. It's an old oyster house in uptown New Orleans. We've eaten here for years and it's really going to be good. Make your own cocktail sauce. Make your own cocktail sauce. Make your own cocktail sauce. I'm down. This is definitely a local spot. Not many tourists know about Casamento's. Wow, look at that. Thank you. What's happened? Let me see. Okay, it's not. I'll do it purple. So we have to make our own cocktail sauce. Big oysters. That's a fresh cocktail sauce and fresh oysters. So good. Thank you. Oyster stew. I love this. I love it because it's not too thick. Look at that. This is New Orleans style. Yeah. It's spread not bad. Do I need some salt? Pepper. I love that hot sauce. This thing is right here. I'll take this one. Thank you. Look, look at this. Fried trout, fried oysters, fried crab. You see the crab? Who wants that? My goodness, my goodness. That's what I call a fresh soft shell crab. I haven't had one of these in so long. Fried oysters. So light and crunchy. Like these little shrimp. Mom, what did you get? Fried oyster sandwich. Dressed. Look at that. Bread just dissolves in your mouth. But it's so thick. Creamy mayonnaise. Iceberg lettuce and tomato. And that crispy oyster. Wow, it's good. I love pickles. Wow, it's sour. Was there fried oysters? <laughs> no. No, thank you. He went, he went. He likes it. He likes it. How is it, Mom? Uh, oyster shooters and a yingling. Can you show me the oyster shooter? Put it up. What is in there? Uh, it's oysters. better not to ask questions. Yeah. Don't worry about what's in there. It's just in there. Alright, Chloe, you ready? 
Let me go. All right, here we go. Go match. You want some? No. You going to the toy store with me? Was that good? No.